I think it's may maybe time to get a little upset at landlords who are renting to all of these uh, all these invaders, all these people eating cats, all, all of this mass invasion that's happening. Landlords somewhere are renting to these people, and I think it's time to start getting upset at them. I mean, keep in mind, this is this typical real estate po Ponzi scheme thing. These people have paid too much for all of this shit. All of these people that have gotten themselves involved in this real estate Ponzi scheme have paid way too much for all of it. What doesn't make a difference if it's bare land or, or, or they built a bunch of gray boxes calling them strip malls, and then they're trying to rent them out to everybody? Uh, as opposed to the own, the business owners actually owning the property that they on, on which their business sits so that they can actually build their equity and control their costs a bit better so that they can stay in business a lot longer and, and bring better prices. Because you, you need to eliminate all these middlemen. Okay, We have a huge middleman economy that exists, and I've been railing against this for years now, this massive middleman economy of people who have agreed to indemnify bankers from losses, which is all a landlord is. It's just a guy who failed at basically everything else and can't run anything else, can't do anything else. So he goes to a bank and says, hey, give me a bunch of money and I'm going to agree to just indemnify you from losses. And he has more to lose than they do, so they go ahead and agree to do it, right? That's that's the number one rule in banking. That's, that's You'll never hear that from you know walking into a regular retail bank. But the number one rule in real banking, the real banking, the, the high level banking, is the other guy has to have more to lose than you do. That's it. So they agree to, to, to lend this retard a bunch of money. He builds a gray box and then leases it out. And he agrees to, to indemnify the bankers from losses. That's all that is. There's no actual value being added to anything, right? It's just, it's a parasite. It's, it's parasite class. And all that money in the middleman economy goes to these middlemen who do nothing but drive, you know, G-wagons and wear submariners, you know, a bunch of fucking posers. So this is exactly what ends up happening, okay? And... Americans are going to have to start getting a little one-sided about this and say, okay, hold on. It's one thing if you're just trying to like uh, juice a few Americans, you know, for a couple hundred bucks extra a month in cash flow and stuff. That's one thing. But now you're actually complicit in helping the destruction of the country so that you don't have to take any losses on, on your overpriced bullshit real estate deals. And they are. They're, most of these things are overpriced. They've, they've been overpriced for a long time. They're way beyond utility value. Uh, I know because I see these deals. I, I look at these things like, oh, well, they're offering this, this, and this. And I look at these numbers. And I'm like, dude, these, these numbers are ridiculous. If you followed any of my stuff when I talk about real estate in, the, uh, in other videos, you know I've gone through these numbers with people, right? And I look at these numbers and like, these are not realistic. None of these are realistic. There's, there's not only is it, it's, it's negative value. You're, you're, you're adding, you're not only not adding anything to the transaction, you're running into negative numbers, right? And so the idea being, the theory being that, oh, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, real estate's going to go up in value. No, that's your currency being turned to shit because you're borrowing a bunch of fake dollars and they're printing fake dollars out of nothing to prop all this shit up. Remember, bankers have to have things always expanding. Remember, it's a Ponzi scheme. There is no way to pay any of this interest. There's none. That's why That's why any of your presidential douchebags that you just saw, uh, you know, what, a couple of days ago, I watched this. Not not one word about the 35 plus trillion dollars of, uh, of debt. Not one word about that. Not one word about the trillion dollars roughly every 90 days that's being added to it, because it'll be $36 trillion, by the way, in like 60 days from now, as of the time of this recording. So, yeah, I mean, not a one word about that. And then, by the way, it's going to add another trillion about 90 days after that. And it doesn't make any difference which one of these, you know, presidential shitbags you vote for. It's going to be the same thing, okay? So, and I realize that they're like, oh, man, you're always such a downer. Like, dude, I, I, I'm not a downer. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what's going on. I'm not doing current events. I don't do current events. I'm telling you what's going on. Um, you know, we can yak about the bullshit about like, you know, what, whatever f fucking crazy person is eating a cat on the side of the road. That's, that's, that's great. And it's great for outrage and clickbait, but that's a symptom of a much bigger problem. And that's the kind of stuff I like to deal with. It's one of the reasons actually why the, by the way, why this account hasn't been completely banned yet. It's because, you know, it's, it's too abstract, right? When you start dealing with really big problems it, and not current events type stuff, and you don't tear into politics too much, they generally leave you alone because most people don't keep up on this stuff. But the more and more people, very slowly, they start to understand that, like, yeah, these are, these are symptoms. 
these aren't actual root problems. It's just like all you people out there saying that, like, you know, that uh, that corn is the is the is the root of all these divorces and so on. It's it's men addicted to corn. I have to say it that way because of fucking algorithms and everything. But uh, no, it's not. That's a that's a symptom once again to a much bigger problem, namely feminism. Um, but yeah, I mean, like these are these are bigger issues and if you deal with the bigger issues then you find that a lot of this other shit goes away very quickly so yeah when when you have people that have that have done this kind of thing to the country and there's they're going to they're going to continue to profit from it well then americans probably should start getting a little one-sided about this and saying hey hold on a second here you're you're the one profiting from all this shit so start looking for these people that are renting to all of this, that are, that are facilitating all of this. Who's facilitating all of this shit? Who's, who's actually making all this happen? And I, I have a feeling that if you look a, a little bit, I don't know, ask 4chan. 4chan seems to be pretty good at finding fucking people. Uh, ask them. Um, and then you'll, I think you'll be able to find out who a lot of these fucking people are. Um, yeah. Yeah.